Okay, let's do a quick little description of how we calculate totals from our timekeeping system. So we're making time records, and that's what this is supposed to represent, is the relationship between these two tables, the tasks and the time. So the time entries have a task assigned. Time entries also have a user assigned. We're not reflecting that here, but it's true. So in the time records, we have one time entry that has a start and an end date, and it has an elapsed time. That time is the thing that we want to add up. We're going to sum these time entries per task using the relationship. That looks like this. Over here in the, in the database where we have tasks, time, and users, looking at the relationships and the calculated fields, in here we can see that the, if we started the time, sorry about that, if we start in the time, we see here that the time start and time end result in a time elapsed. There's a slightly complicated calculation here for doing that. All this is doing is saying if there is no time start or time end, then don't do this. So it says basically if time end is not there, then just make the result empty. If the time start is not there, then make the result empty. If both of those are not true, then by default it's going to say grab the time end, subtract the time started, that will give you a time elapsed. Make sure, by the way, that this is a calculation result is time. Otherwise, uh, if you were to make that a number or text, you'd end up with a number of seconds between these two. Might not be helpful. So the next piece is to start in the task side and to create a calculated field that is the sum of the time elapsed. That's it. Also, again, making sure the calculation result is time. And by doing that, we end up over here in tasks with this sort of a number, where the task for a specific time period, I'm sorry, the time for a specific task will be listed here. As we do things like, uh, let's go back to home and say, you know what, I'd like to make a new time entry, reach up here and hit new record, and put in the time a timestamp. We'll just change these to make it real. So there you can see that this is resulting in a time elapsed. I'm going to uh, let's see. Should have been done here. So here's this record we just created. We're going to make a a user and a task will add to hanging out. Go back home, go back to tasks, and here you can see hanging out has just gone up by those two hours. Again, time. I don't need to be able to get to the details. Let me navigate that. New. The user is Billy. The task is get milk. And uh, time start. Time end. Again, I will nudge this a couple of hours. Going back home, looking at tasks, here you can see that get milk has gone up by another couple hours. So that's the, the basics of it. I hope that helps.